Hey Analog Horror Lovers, welcome back to a new video. So today we're reacting to Analog Horror, as I always do obviously, but there's a bit of a twist. We've just got four videos that I've randomly picked from searching Analog Horror in YouTube, and uh, from this week actually. So we're going to check them out and have a look and analyse them and all that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, let's get to the first video. First video we are going to be watching today is called Analog Horror in the Walls. And this has been created by Urban Spook. I'm going to go and check this out and hopefully I don't die in the walls. All right, 10 days ago, the Beck twins went missing. We've got Corey Beck, age 11, and Margaret Beck at age 11. Okay. Five days later, their bodies were discovered inside an abandoned paper mill factory. Oh, why were they? Why were their bodies there? Yeah, good hiding place, I guess. However, the state of the bodies were found in a gruesome condition. Oh, it's kids as well, dude. It's horrible. That is so creepy. So, like, the upper body of Margaret, but you've only got the lower body of Corey. What? Don't tell me that somehow... I know this is going to be a little bit over the top, but <laughs> are they somehow going to be, like, made into one person? But are they being made into one person? Like an entity? Twin's bodies have been so... Yeah. Oh, my God. See? I didn't even know that either. That's so weird. Best of their bodies have still not been found. They could have been eaten alive by rats or something, or something that's like in there. Margaret's neck and jaw were broken in several places. Oh, imagine being like that, having that happen to you. You wouldn't be able to walk or anything after that. A clay brick had violently been shoved down her throat. Mate, this is gr this is definitely gruesome. I can understand. The word meat had been written on the brick. Dude, that's really sick. That's actually sick-minded, bruh. Oh my god, Corey's genitalia had been removed by the pulling force. This is, like, weird. One week before their disappearance, Corey had been dared by two of his friends to spend an hour in a remote cabin near Tiger Lake. The tiger have eaten them? <laughs> I'm joking, I don't know. <laughs> god, this is really dark, dude. This is one of the darkest analog horrors I've ever seen. Allegedly, Corey went inside alone with his digital camera while his friends were outside. After just four minutes, Corey ran out screaming that he had seen a face. According to his friends, Corey's left arm was badly bruised. The while investigating the cabin, police found a wardrobe connected to a crawl wall space inside the walls. The camera was found on the floor. Oh, this open oh my god. Oh, here we got some found footage, have we? Or is it images? Yes, we've got images right now. Oh my god. Oh, that just moved then. Now something's voices, some, some, some like, whoa, was that? Oh my days, dude. That is fucking horrible. Sorry for swearing, but that's horrible. Reminds me of like Oreo. Thing person. I call her Oreo, but yeah. But this face is believed to be connected to the disappearance of Corey and Margaret Beck. If you recognize this person, please contact. Don't call that number, but yeah, I don't recognize them. God. That's gruesome, man. So after watching that, this analog horror there, mate, that is, that is actually, I'm going to have to say this now, that is the creepiest analog horror, even though there wasn't really much to it, as in there was no found footage, just the, just the, the whole situation of, you know, it's kids, see the creepy face, and you know, what this thing, you know, has done to them, it's just... Oh, it's so dark and gruesome, and I can I can understand why they say it's gruesome, but that is definitely by far probably one of the most scariest <clears throat> and chilling, and I'm out of words what to say. Our second video that we're going to be watching today is called Static. It's an analog horror short film. Uh, this has been created by Ryan, who's currently on four subs, technically five now that I've subbed. So. Uh, yeah, we're going to go and find out about it. And it is surreal found footage, a horror experience. 
I'm a little bit scared. But hopefully I don't get too static kid, you know. Uh-huh. Found footage first, all right. Where are we? TV there as well in the background. Nice hand, bro. God, you pushed that door well aggressively. I thought I did. <laughs> Can you just imagine, right? Like, you're walking outside your, your house or whatever apartment, right? And then literally you just see this TV in the middle of your garden. It's like... Just turned on. And you're sat there like... Yeah, why the frick is... What's going on, mate? <laughs> this reminds me of the ring a little bit, though. Maybe that's kind of what we're trying to... It's trying to sort of, like, link it to. I like the effect, though. Got the TV effect with the VHS on the screen. Makes it very, very analog horror -y. Again, is that even a word? Did he just fall down? Oh, no. What the how? So did he die? Did he fall over or die from the static? Like that? That's some kind of church or something. Like Gonna assume so. Oh, I want to go in the park. <clears throat> I want to go and ride on one of them. Like, wee! Ah, oh, dude. I haven't been to a park in years. If I was seen in a park now, I'd probably end up getting bloody arrested, probably. <laughs> Whoa, all right. Oh, my God, that dog made me jump. Flipping it, dude. German Sheppy as well. Let's go. Okay, so there's caution there. And it's also there's also like a spade. Hey, squirrel. Hey, how you doing, bro? I do hope that this creator got this footage himself. Himself. Because that would be really cool. Possibly. I mean, if not, it doesn't make any difference. But... Just having your own fan footage, it does make it like more legit and unique, really. Why are we following this guy? What's he done? Bro, what the hell? Oh, sorry. No, it's a pit of photo. I thought it was a dead body then. I actually shot myself for a second. God, that's so creepy. Don't know really why it made me jump for, but yeah. <laughs> it's just like, what? Oh, and the dog's back. Oh, is it going back in time now? Yeah, we're back at the static part of the guy that died. Whoa! He's been pulled away by something. Some one. Static. Is that what we got? I will say, that was actually quite good. That wasn't too bad. I don't really understand it, to be honest, but... Sometimes you just, you just don't. Analog horror is just sometimes random and... You've seen my reaction videos, you've seen some of the content we find from these smaller creators, and yeah, some are very random, but then they're also very good, and again, that was definitely a good one. I enjoyed that one. Third video we're going to be watching today is a parody of Michael Rosen, an incident. It's an analogue horror. It's only a minute long, but I think it will be definitely worth checking out, and this has been created by Dynomus. It's only a minute long. Intended for the police. I'm the police for now, mate. Just for now. I'm a police officer, so I need to get a hat for it, really. How you doing, dude? Bon Ed. For what, though? Dangerous criminal avoid contact. You see this man call 911. Avoid interaction at all costs. What, did he do? what would he do to you, though? That's what I want to know. Following footage was taken from a camera a victim set up in their home before being killed. By Michael Rosen. The camera starts at 12.30, but nothing will happen up until... Hot food. Whoa. We sit down to eat. 
<laughs> Sorry, this is hilarious. So I only put a little bit on my fork and I blow. Till it's cool, just cool, and into the mouth. Nice. Movement set at 5.12, okay. Oh, this is so good. I actually love this. It's a parody, but it's great. Munch. Oh, shit. Munch. Time for a munch. Crunch. Crunch. Munch. Munch. Crunch. Crunch. Munch. 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 Whoa. Individuals to this day are still not being found by police. Oh, my God. Do you know what? That was only a minute long, but I, I honestly have to say that was actually very well done. Just for a minute long, and you had you got the you know you got the entity Michael Rosen the the person who's causing the issues, you got the footage, and in a minute long, that's pretty much all you need for that for a parody as well, in a way. It, it you that's all you need, and I mean if you can if I if someone can do that in a minute long, imagine what else you could do. And after all those three videos, we've now got one final video left. This is called Iceman. It's an analog horror film. This has been created by Rob I.E. Don and Jericho, Vermont. The following data is classified for level 4 clearance and above. Okay. If you do not fit this criteria, please power this device down and report to your nearest evidence manager. Well, as I say every video, I am never... I always have clearance. I've always got the authority and permission to do whatever I like and, what, and react to these videos. So, I, um, I do fit the criteria just because it's me. So, let's carry on. Footage was gathered by an alpha zone hunter, code name Silver in Noba. That's what I am after uh I investigate the anomalous zone wow. for any abnormal findings. Most of the time if I'm not drinking. <laughs> I don't know why I'm trying to say that. So this is the footage date on July the 9th, twenty twenty. That snow is so heavy, man. I've never been in snow that heavy before, you know, ever. Well, hi. Currently keeping this journal. To oh, this is sober. Oh. Cool. The anomalous area. I'm currently in an area outside of Jericho, Vermont, in which the anomaly touched down. Mm -hmm. um, it's a small abandoned town just on the mm -hmm. outskirts. Uh, unfortunately, everyone has been evacuated. There is power. There is some uh, plumbing, but at this moment, there is no one in this area that I can find. At this point, I do believe I'm alone in the area and that most of it has been evacuated. And I am keeping this to mark some of the changes in the area mm -hmm. that could be considered out of the ordinary. I'm going to be spiritually honest with you. I don't think I'd want to be this sober person in this, in this situation. You know, especially when everything's been abandoned and you've got, I guess it's the Iceman going after everybody or something similar to that, I guess. But yeah, I definitely wouldn't put myself in this position. I would be saying F that and uh, I'll be getting another job. Currently, as you can tell, I am in cold weather gear. It is uh, frozen out here, though. Oh, look at the snow in the background. It's kind of obvious, isn't it? <laughs> it is currently July 9th, if I am correct. It seems the anomalous area, the zone, has changed some of the weather properties. Oh, God, yeah. Considering it's in July, in this small section, you'd think it would be bloody baking hot, wouldn't you? Uh, nearing below zero at the moment. Oh, I my God. It's incredibly cold. Thankfully, the wind is not too bad at the moment. For now, though, what's the chances it gets worse? I also think this found footage has actually been created, I think, by the creator. Just a little heads up. But this actually, it does seem very believable it, so far, even a few minutes in. Whether it was actually in July, obviously not, but yeah. <laughs> I want to see the Iceman, bruh. Where is he? Hope you, I hope you're not going to be ice skating on it, mate. You're probably going to go straight through that. <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh, got your camera. You're like, yo, and then he just goes through it. Like, oh, shit. Once again, we are filming in July. 
currently the temperatures are almost sub-zero and most likely will go under zero tonight when the sun sets. Thank oh, it will probably, yeah. It's not changed in its course or its direction. It is still within normal parameters for this area at this time. It's good to know, then. I hope this guy isn't out there, like, late at night, though, because that's when it's all going to go a bit weird. Hear that. I did just hear a noise from the ice, almost a thumping. The ice, man. See, if you if we just pause it here for a second, I think we might be able to Yeah, so you can see there's a hole here. There's also a hole on the other side. So is this kind of where, like, the ice man is? Or am I just... Overthinking it right now. Despite the fact that I do know that I am alone in the area, I can't help but shake the feeling that something else is here. I would think something's watching me from the trees, and I don't think I. And like I said, I won't even be there in general. Coming but yeah, ice, coming from under the ice, I'm not sure what it was, but I did hear some thumping and warbling. I'm not sure if it was the wind or some kind of other anomaly. Mm. There is something I think under there. I'm not sure what it is, and I don't think it's anything dangerous, but it could be some kind of spatial anomaly that I do not want to get tangled up within at this moment. Oh, was you, mate. Don't get in. Don't. You can get a sound bite on here. You can hear it a little bit in the background. I can hear it kind of. Looks like whatever it is, it's camera shy. So <laughs> I'll see if I can come back in here at night. Oh, you're going to come back at night. Why would you do that? As you can see, the area is experiencing some definite changes. And... Oh, yeah, that's kind of obvious, as I said earlier. There's big changes. Bear in mind, it's snowing in bloody July. <laughs> oh, dude, imagine. But anyway, going back there at night, I guess you're going to kind of have to, because in the day, I don't know... For me, I've, this is something I've never really... I've always kind of thought, like, do ent I think entities will probably do more and show themselves and do whatever they do more in the uh, night time than the day. So it's probably a good idea to go back at night to get the footage. But other than that, yeah, fuck that. <laughs> Most likely I ain't going there ever. No chance. Travel through the area. I will be setting up, uh, shacking up here in this home for the night as uh, it does give adequate protection. <clears throat> I did find that the uh, lights were still working in it, so electricity will be there. Um, we'll be holding up there and maybe adventuring out a bit at night to see if there's anything else I can find in the area. You're going to find something. You, you must find something, right? If he doesn't, imagine all of that. You're camping out there and then you just... I'm carrying myself hmm. to the mystery ranch. All right. What you got in your bag? Here, everything I need in here. Camera bag. Multi-tool. Band-aids. Standard survival gear? Of course. Everything will be going in there. Do you need water, dude? I don't drink enough of it, to be fair, but that's just me. For protection. Small. Compact 9mm block. Good to know. Magazine, so I don't feel like I will have to use them, thankfully. So I don't, he feels like he won't? Here. <laughs> Masks. flashlight thankfully for when it does get dark yeah you definitely need that dude there be no lighting out there for you <laughs> okay so this is footage from sober's home base interior audio has been lost due to camera damage why did the camera get damaged out of nowhere what god what are we gonna say silver continues to report something from the nearby frozen lake it was originally assumed this noise was due to natural shifting in the ice. Could have been at the time. The video was saved from a corrupted video file. Unfortunately, the AV department was unable to find the accompanying visuals. That's just convenient, really, isn't it, to be honest? Probably hiding shit. It is 2.38 a.m., and through the solar lights on the dock, I saw what I can only describe to be a tall, slender figure in some way. I'm not sure if it's linked to the anomaly, but I am going to be investigating it. I'm going to be leaving behind most of the research equipment, such as this camera, as I do not want to be weighed down. I'm going to be traveling light, 
and assuming that whatever this is, is not friendly and does not have intention to help me. It's probably going to try and kill you. If I find anything else out or if I see anything out of the ordinary, I will be uh, also going back and grabbing my gear. Should the entity not appear to me down there, I will assume that it is either maybe gone or it is maybe afraid of me, and I will be bringing the gear down. It's not going to be afraid of you. <laughs> it's going to want to eat your fucking... eat you for breakfast, it's mate. Departure. It would eat, I think it would eat anybody for breakfast. Firstly, this anomaly has been codenamed Iceman. Iceman, alright. Considered intelligent and extremely dangerous. Mm hmm. There is insufficient evidence on who was behind the camera's operation at this time. Oh, hold on. We got more fam We got more footage, have we? Hold on. Is somebody watching Sober? It is assumed code name Sober attempted to make contact with Iceman after realizing yeah. the gear has been tampered with. So is that Iceman filming him? Or is it just a random guy that's stalking Sober? How was that? Whoa! Oh my god. Don't know why that made me jump for, but what the frick? Ooh. Whoa! Has not yet oh, he's dead. The area. Oh, he's assumed deceased. All subsequent research and recovery attempts have been thwarted by spatial anomalies or lack of funding. Lack of funding, understandable. For further information on the Alpha Zone, please contact your current ecological research representative or consult Take 001. That was so good, dude. Like, honestly. That, for an analog horror, I really, really enjoyed that. The reason I enjoyed that, right, is that story is actually very believable. The anomaly is kind of cool. I like the Iceman. I'm actually surprised that no one's ever done the Iceman before, because it's quite, it, to be fair, it's quite a name that you could easily pick up. But actually, I don't think anything else could beat that. That was really cool. I really enjoyed it. So those four videos were all very good. I really enjoyed reacting to them all very good in different ways i don't have any nitpicks or negatives at all which is quite a surprise to me really isn't it but hey ho there we go but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed my reaction if you did please consider liking and subscribing to my channel we do analog horror mainly here with some other things too make sure to go and support the creators in the description of the videos that we've watched today because really? all of them without any more to say i'm going to say my lovely catch out of uh Peace out, yo.